two, and we are focusing on health and well-being in the restaurant industry, and I'm Grace. I'm Sydney. I'm Hannah. I'm Keen. And I'm Elise. For this presentation, we'll be touching on a few key points, including um, how companies make the switch into healthy alternatives. We will also be um, looking into more sustainable ways that um, restaurants present themselves. And we will also be using True Foods as an example to show um, how restaurants succeed. And then um, we will also be touching on a few restaurants that we interviewed managers for. Thank you. The five most important points that we want to convey to you is one, a healthy restaurant is one that is moving towards physical, intellectual, emotional, social, and environmental well-being. Two, healthy restaurants are contributing to a healthy economy, healthy families, and a healthy community. And the three is the good managers need also need the good in management and uh, in order to get more money. Uh, four is that menu labeling offers customers the right to make informed choices and five catering to the needs of the customers is the industry's number one focus. Uh, an example of a healthy restaurant that has taken this idea of a healthy well-being um, and ran with it is True Foods. They were established in 2008 by a doctor and they kind of based their food off of an anti-inflammatory pyramid which is they're kind of using science while they're cooking on what's best for your body. Um, in 2018, Oprah Winfrey invested in it which kind of made it boom and now you can see them all over in different cities um the ingredients really matter in their eyes you go in and you can find a um menu full of different options for gluten-free vegan vegetarian it doesn't matter everyone can go in so yeah true foods is our example of somebody who ran with the idea of health and well-being in the restaurant industry So the first restaurant that we worked with was Beach House Bar and Grill in Kirkland, Washington, which is a restaurant that I work at. So I'm very involved with the kitchen and the staffing and the food and the ingredients that we put into our menu items. So the first thing that we did with Beach House Bar and Grill was interview the general manager. Her name is Emily Ruff. She's been the general manager for Beach House for five years now. And I called her and did an over the phone interview and we asked her five questions. But the question that st stood out to me the most was, have you noticed an increase in customers when you put healthier alternative options on your menu? And she said, yes, we have. Usually people <clears throat> would feel the need to call and say, I love this restaurant but my girlfriend is gluten free and you only have one option on your menu. It looks like you lost a customer. And it began to get really frustrating. Now the healthier options we add, the more people we bring in because it's food they can eat and want to eat. And that question stood out to me because at Beach House Bar and Grill, we really value the opinions of our customers and the experience they have when they come to our restaurant. So changing the menu to bring in a more broader audience was really our goal. At Beach House Bar and Grill, we also have three menu items that are our healthiest and you can make them gluten-free non or with gluten um vegetarian non-vegetarian and that is our salmon blt you can do a gluten-free bun we have our veggie burger gluten-free bun you can sub the fries or anything like that with 
a side salad or seasonal vegetables. And then any salad, we have six different salad options on our menu. All of them can be dairy-free, gluten-free, uh, and vegetarian. So those are the options that we usually recommend to all customers when they ask. And it's also listed on our menu with all the important dietary restrictions and values that we've added to it. And how did they adapt to changing lifestyles in society was they kind of learned how to deal with all the people who have come to the restaurant with new dietary restrictions and we've just built off of that. Uh, I interviewed a Chinese restaurant uh, where it's been open in a Pullman and uh, I asked asking some questions about how it's working the Chinese thing in America. So the boss Linda told me important things about one, we need to change in the meal because the Chinese American is different with Chinese. So the American like the sweet, sweet food. And the second, the location is very important for the Chinese restaurant because if you want to make make some money, you should close to the university, like uh, the Tan Chinese restaurant close to the WSU. So I think this is very important for the for open the Chinese restaurant. So some final details we want to touch on is that customer satisfaction is of the utmost importance to the in, um, restaurant industry. Uh, this means adapting to the needs of the customers, whether that be healthier options and whatnot. Um, healthy options cost more, but if they bring in more customers, this offsets the cost so they don't mind doing so. So to summarize this presentation by group two, um, we talked about health and well-being in the restaurant is industry. And we talked about true foods and how it is creating a new sustainable menu for restaurants to use to appeal to a wider audience for their customers. We talked about a couple restaurants in um, Washington that people can eat at because we have new dietary options for them to enjoy. And we also talked about how the changing society is becoming more involved with people's eating habits. To conclude this presentation, we want to look at our societal views and how they're going in a direction of healthy options and healthy foods. You can see a decline in fast food restaurants and you can see an incline in healthier options like gluten-free, vegetarian, pescatarian, vegan. All of those should be options in restaurants because it actually improves the sales from what our research has shown um, and it attracts diverse groups of customers.